our Slayer Sword winner for 2022, Gavin goes. Yeah! Hey everyone, I'm here with Gavin Garza and he's just won the Slayer Sword, which is uh, super epic. It's been an unbelievable competition. It's been really positive. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be sit talking about this amazing skink. Now, if you're at home and you're thinking, why is a skink won the Slayer Sword? Let me tell you this, in the hand here, it is unbelievable. Uh, I can't find any mistakes. I think if I spent a year painting a skink, it wouldn't be this good. So uh, congratulations, Gavin. You've done an amazing, so amazing job. Um, I think the first thing I've got to say is, why, why a skink? <laughs> um, I don't know. I've always been a big fan of the uh, Lizard Men. Yeah. Um, and, you know, GW, GW's been releasing those new Lizard Men. Yeah. Uh, they got the Blood Bowl ones. They've got the, the Underworlds ones. Mm. Um, and as soon as I saw those, saw those Underworld ones, I knew I had to pay more of those. Uh, so yeah, you did the, the Blood Bowl version, which me and Matt absolutely love. So what made you think for the entry, I should maybe do not the Blood Bowl one and, and do the Underworld one? Um, I mean, I, both, I like them both equally, um, mm -hmm. but in terms of poses and all that, I, I just found the uh, Underworld ones to be a little bit more um, almost like cinematic looking in a way. Um, the Blood Bowl yeah. ones are really nice, but they kind of lack that... Um, it's more of a complete figure, isn't it? Because yeah. it has the weapon and the shield, so I guess it feels more Warhammer or something like that. Yeah, it so. feels very complete. He's got like that heroic pose with the spear yeah. above his head. Uh, and that's, that's something that not all of the Blood Bowl models have. So I just thought if I was going to submit anything to Golden Demon, it was definitely going to have to be from the Underworlds kit. So were you really happy with the, the Blood Bowl version? And when you sort of thought, I'm going to enter Golden Demon, was it like, oh, this is actually the best thing I've done. Maybe I should try that, but, you know, I know, turn it up or just the better figure. Was that kind of the thought process you went through? For the most part, yeah. yeah. As I was painting up the Blood Bowl figure, um, there's a few thing, a few choices that I made while painting it that I just wasn't 100% on. Um, We're 100% on it, but yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I looked at it personally, like I guess through my own eyes, um, there's just a lot of things on there. It was like, I don't like this, I don't like that. There's a lot of little things I could change. And it's like, I could just base it I could send it to Golden Demon, but I'd be pretty unhappy with that. Mm. So I thought, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint something new, mm. take all the lessons I learned from that model and apply it to this one. And that's what I tried to do. I think that's a really important lesson. And, mm -hmm. and I could listen to that and think, yeah, because you've almost got a trial run and you're taking those things you weren't happy with. And I hopefully you've conquered them. Well, you have <laughs> taken home the sword. So that's cool. But that's, yeah, a really interesting approach. So I don't think many people would maybe have the strength to do the same figure again, mm -hmm. uh, but the results speak for themselves and, and maybe that's why you've managed to get such a good result. So so tell me, what were your expectations coming in and what was your reaction when they said the Slayer Sword? Because we were just like, yes. <laughs> so what was it like for you? When I got here and um, especially like come day two and I started seeing all the competition coming in, like yeah. all the entries. Um, I thought there's no way a little skink's gonna win. <laughs> there's, it's like this little skink, how's he gonna win against anything here? Like mm. everything here looks so incredible. And it, even at the end, like there's so many committed entries because I, I assume the judges just couldn't decide on, you know, what would ultimately win. It's like, there's so much amazing stuff this year. Um, so my expectations were not to win. I didn't think it would play single Golden Demon. Um, so when they eventually said that it won gold, I was ecstatic. I couldn't believe that. That was such a huge She had one high. <laughs> yeah. And then they said Slayer Sword. And, I was, and there's like a few entries that I saw that I'm like, oh, that's going to get Slayer Sword. That's going to get Slayer Sword. It's like, I didn't even think, it didn't even cross my mind. That, uh, the that's really nice, man. That's really nice. Win a Slayer Sword. And they, they announced my name and I just like, oh my God, this is incredible. Yeah, it was really cool as a spectator. And I think that's the really tough thing because when you're an outsider or, or far back, you know, you see the big amazing pieces and they are amazing. Mm -hmm. But Golden Demon is about every little detail and the judges did a really great job. And I think when you've got pieces in your hand, certainly with yours, it just it's just so nice and pretty to look at. 
and big, you know, doesn't doesn't mean you win automatically. So uh, yeah, you really deserve it. It's super cool to see, and uh, I can't wait to see what you do next. So, what are you thinking? You're oh. gonna do something bigger? Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I don't have any plans just yet, but uh, yep. I definitely want to enter again. I had a lot of fun this year. Perfect. Well, I think that's uh, everything from us, and uh, yeah.